Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of the Dark Table from A to Z series. My name is Hal and today we're going to be discussing the local contrast module. The local contrast module can be found in the tone group. Simple contrast that we've discussed in previous videos of this series works on the whole image. Increasing the contrast of the whole image, so the difference between the light areas and the dark areas and pushing the midtones towards one of those two areas. Local contrast works on smaller areas of the photo, effectively on local differences or contrast between the pixels. The effect is that it adds pop and sharpness to your image. Let's see how that works. First, we have the choice of mode either local Laplacian filter or bilateral grid. Both modes work on the lightness channel from the lab color space. The local Laplacian filter is the default and according to the manual it has been designed to be very robust against unwanted halo effects and gradient reversals along edges. The parameters that you can change, so the sliders, depend on the mode that you've chosen. In the local Laplacian filter, we have those four uh, sliders. And if we choose the bilateral grid, we have a different three sliders. So let's go through them. The first one is detail. Sliding it to the right will increase details, that is local contrast in the image. As you can see. Decreasing it, of course, decreases the local contrast and hence the details. Highlights works only on the right side of the image. So you're, in you're increasing details in the highlights. You can see that here. Or less. While it's actually, it's working on the contrast in the highlights, not on the highlights themselves. But the effect is, it's not the same, but pulling it to the left will pull all of your highlights to the left, even though it's just working on the contrast in the highlights. And consequently, pulling it to the right will pull all of your highlights to the right as well. The same applies for the shadows. Um, slider it works on the shadows so the dark parts of the image and increases or decreases the contrast in the shadows but this works the other way around if you pull it to the left then the shadows will become darker uh, will become lighter and if you pull it to the right the shadows will become darker so effectively you can use it to lighten the shadows as well a bit by decreasing uh, the contrast and the local contrast in it, so decreasing details as well. However, note that this would not work if the whole image is very dark, because this only works on local contrast. And if the whole image is dark, then there will be nothing to change, and it will not lighten a completely dark image. Next, we have the midtone range, and it's not the same as the previous ones. It does not increase and decrease the local co local contrast in the midtone but increases what is considered midtone in the image or decreases it. As you can see, pulling it to the left would pull everything towards the midtones, so the image becomes very, very flat as everything is pulled towards the center in the histogram and pulling it to the right increases contrast in total by pulling the um, histogram towards the ends. Let's have a look at the bilateral grid now. First you have the details which as it suggests adds more details into the image so more local contrast and as a result adds more contrast to the whole image.
Next, we have coarseness, which is the size of the local details. Let's zoom in and see the effect on the rock. I'll increase the detail so that's probably more visible on the screen. As you can see, the shape of the local detail is changed, well, the size and the coarseness, by pulling it to the right, and a more flat look by pulling it to the left. The last one is the contrast slider, and it determines what difference should be in lightness between pixels for the module to distinguish between them. It works more or less as all of the others. Less of it gives less contrast. More of it gives more local contrast. As, as pulling it to the right makes it work on pixels with less difference in lightness. So on more pixels. This all feels as if they all of the um, parameters in both modes do exactly the same, which is more or less true. Pulling them to the right gives more contrast, pulling them to the left gives less contrast, practically all of them. However, uh, the effect is completely different on the image. So to get the most out of the local contrast module, you'll have to Consider what your what your image uh, looks like or, and what effect do you want to produce and then play around with the, both modes or stick to the local Laplacian, which I usually do, but play around with the parameters to try to find out the best uh, effect that you'd like to uh, apply to your image to produce the best pop and sharpness while keeping the image um, natural. It's very easy to overdo it and produce a uh, weird HDR effect. So use with caution, play around with it, see what works. Probably not a single parameter combination that works for all images. It depends on your subject, it depends on what you're trying to achieve. That's it for this time. I hope that you found this video entertaining and informative. If you have any questions, corrections, or recommendations, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.